So we have the cover. The first man launch from U.S. soil is roughly nine hours out. Just a little bit more than that. And as we explained at the top of the show, this is a historic moment for both SpaceX and NASA. It is the first mission in that partnership, and it is the first time NASA astronauts will travel in a private spacecraft. So joining us now, NASA astronaut Mike Barrett. He is on the phone with us this morning. So excited to talk with you. You know, it's been nearly a decade since the end of the space shuttle program. It was a devastating blow to the Cape. Yet people were hopeful of this moment, what we are seeing right now. So this is truly a test and the world is watching. What does this partnership mean for you personally? Well, this uh, this means a lot for all of us, uh, I have to say. For, for me personally, I've got two of my classmates uh, about to strap into this brand-new rocket, and, and so uh, mm. we have uh, a quite, a, quite a connection, and they happen to be married to two of my other astronaut classmates as well. So personally, it's, it's very mm. meaningful. Uh, more importantly, I was actually able to, to fly one of the last space shuttle missions in, in 2011, and I remember how quiet it got shortly after that. And uh, KSC wants to be a busy, bustling spaceport. And getting, uh, getting us back to that, I think, is, is huge for uh, NASA, it's huge for the nation, and really huge for the international spaceflight community. Yeah, and I agree. I mean, I spent a lot of time at the Cape, so definitely have uh, seen that kind of play out. Um, talk to me. So they're your friends. You know, their wives are major players also in the space game. Have you been able to talk with them or when was the last time you spoke with them about what they're feeling this morning? Well, I've been we've been uh, on mandatory telework and we've not been able to have the kind of pre-launch contact that we would normally have. That's that's kind of been difficult for us uh, as we're getting everything else ready. Um, but uh, the last talking to them, they're they're exactly as they have been. Uh, very personal, but all of them steely-eyed professionals. And I think Bob and Doug are consummate uh, flight test engineers and pilots, and they are absolutely the right people to, to put on this flight. Yeah, I'm sure they are laser-focused right now, for sure. Um, let's talk about this brand-new vehicle that they will be traveling in. Is that a better scenario for the astronauts? Well, you know, any any ride to space is the right ride to space as long as it's a, a, a safe and, and reliable uh, vehicle. This is brand new, and uh, being able to have at least two different ways to get to our space station is, is a huge thing. We've been, I think, very fortunate to work with our Russian counterparts because they've been extremely reliable partners during this gap phase uh, since 2011. And having another capability to get there gives us what we call mission redundancy. So uh, better for us in that we don't have to leave home and, and we don't necessarily have to speak Russian on the way up. So a little easier, uh, mm -hmm. but we really do need the dual capability. It's just really nice to be launching from American shores again, though. Yeah, and, and those seats in Russia, very expensive, $86 million to get to space. And now that it's becoming more commercialized, how has that changed how NASA functions with missions like this one? Well, that's a great question. And uh, some of it, uh, we can tell you that we've, we've worked, I think, extremely effectively with SpaceX and with our other partner, Boeing, in uh, seeing these uh, new vehicles come into existence. Uh, but but this is part of a, a bigger revolution that has happened over the last decade. You know, we've internationalized considerably, and we are now commercializing. And both of these are logical steps in the human spaceflight community. And so uh, it's it's not always been easy, but it's not always easy to build a spaceship under any circumstances. And the relationship we've built with SpaceX uh, over these last few years has been incredibly robust and uh I think we, we put it on a par with our international partners. We know how to work together now, and uh, together we're just much, much stronger and more effective than we are apart. This is the stuff that dreams are made of, I tell you, and we are certainly excited about today. Thank you for talking with us. NASA astronaut Mike Barrett, he's also a physician, and he joined NASA in 1991, so certainly giving us great perspective there. Jen?